I, I got to be honest, I don't understand anything about outer space. But <laughs> it's but, out of this world, right? <laughs> but I will tell you, some of the stuff they're saying is cool. What's not yeah. cool, Dominus, mm -mm. is today begins a stretch of four straight first alert weather days. Yeah, here we go again, a broken record. And I think this will continue through most of the summer here. We're going to have a lot of first alert weather days because of the oppressive heat. So now through Wednesday, we have first alert weather days. It will feel like 108 to 112 for some of these days. And we need to stay alert and informed. In fact, as we look at the high temperatures we're forecasting for tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, there will be a good 11, 12 degrees above the average high of 96. So this is some dangerous heat that we really need to respect. Now, you'll see the excessive heat warning is in effect right now for most of North Texas through tomorrow night. But I believe this will be extended because, like I said at the top of the show, this heat is not going anywhere anytime soon. So with the summer checklist here, let's make sure we have our water bottle on hand as we're getting ready to go out maybe the door tomorrow. Sunscreen, baseball cap, and also take a lot of breaks as well. Now, let's also think about some dangerous parts to it, too, when we talk about the car, because it can literally act as an oven there. So when we look at the temperature here, all right, outside at 100 degrees in just 10 minutes, so get up to 119 inside, and 30 minutes, about 134 inside, and about an hour, it gets up to about 143 inside. So let's look before we lock to make sure no kids or pets are left behind in this heat. The temperatures are in the triple digits right now. I, I really don't even have to tell you that. <laughs> I mean, you can step out the door and you'll just realize it. It's just plain old hot out there. And for tomorrow, we'll likely do it once again with temperatures about 104 at 3 and 105 by 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, as we look ahead with the rain, this makes the day 44 of no measurable rain at DFW. Yes, it did rain in some spots Thursday, but that was scattered rain around the area, but not right at the airport. Well, there's a little glimmer of hope. There's a little system here stationary front that might nudge in a little bit that some of our areas might see a shower or two later tonight overnight. Here goes the clock here. That's toward 11 o'clock toward the Red River and then overnight some of these showers might even drop in toward the Metroplex. It's not a lot of rain. I see Keith there. <laughs> I see you crossing your fingers. Yeah, we're going to call that rain chance about 10% overall as we look at the forecast, but mostly I think a lot of us will be dry as we look at the seven day. You'll see it right there. The main story will be the dryness, a lot of sunshine, 108 going into Tuesday, 107 for your Wednesday. Have a couple more showers late, later in the day, Thursday, early Friday, about 10%. 103s there for highs Thursday and Friday. So not as hot, but still 103 and 104 next Saturday.